Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a 73-year-old female who had a recent dislocation about two weeks ago, continued shoulder pain, and she has a massive tear of her rotator cuff. Her supraspinatus tendon is completely torn. This is the supraspinatus muscle, central tendon. It's torn from the greater tuberosity and retracted to about here. Also, her infraspinatus, if we go down there, is torn and retracted. This is the muscle. There's edema and fatty atrophy of that muscle and her labrum was torn. She has elevation of the humeral head and it contacts the undersurface of the acromion here. And uh, the main finding, the reason I'm showing this is because she also has one more thing. She has a biceps tendon dislocation and we can see the biceps tendon coming obliquely down here through the anterior joint. Normally the biceps, as we know, will go over the top of the humeral head, make the loop and go down the bicepital groove. We see this is far medial, so when the biceps tendon is dislocated, we know they must have a subscapularis tendon tear. So if we look on this view, this looks like the subscap. It's very hard to see in the coronals, but this looks like the subscap, and this looks like maybe the torn end here. So we can verify that with the axial images. We put in the axials. This is the biceps tendon down below the groove. We're going to follow that up across the anterior joint. Here's the anterior joint. And when the subscapularis tendon is torn, it'll peel off the, subs the uh, lesser tuberosity and come back. But there's another component, the thin component that goes over the top and attaches over here on the greater tuberosity called the transversal ligament component. So this extra thing we see here, you would expect this thing to be torn back and see nothing else. But actually, almost always you see a little extra bit that goes over the top. Sometimes it's still attached. When this is torn, the biceps becomes uncovered and then the bicep tendon can dislocate and slip over here to the anterior joint like this. So completely torn, retracted subscapularis tendon and a dislocated bicep tendon. And she also had some uh, other things, labral tear. And that's it. Thank you very much.